A top seller this holiday season, genetic test kits promising insights into your ancestry and more. But some warn the gift of a test could impact the recipients for the rest of their lives. Once you have a trace or a record of your genetic history, you can never erase it. Genetic testing is serious stuff. The answers they offer are potentially life-changing. Who's your father? Disease-causing genes? Where did you come from? I think I'm naturally curious. So when Lenise Ortiz of La Puente got a DNA test kit for her birthday, she was intrigued. Can these people really find my ancestry? Lenise already knew the basics. My grandma would talk about being Indian. But I never heard her say what tribe specifically. So when she received her kit, I was like, oh, cool. Like, what am I? <laughs> Testing begins with spitting in a tube. Once you do that, prepare your tube for the lab. As Lenise got her sample ready for shipping, you kind of begin to wonder where does your spit go and is it legitimate? Four weeks later, her results were in. The test was legit. All I knew was I was Native American and half Spanish, and it did confirm that. It also showed Lenise a list of people with DNA so similar they could be her cousins. Most people don't think that if they get a genetic test, it could ever come back to bite them, but it can. Jamie Cord of Consumer Watchdog says it's easy to run tests that reveal more than ethnicity. The real danger is you may find out that you have a marker for real serious illness. Court showed us why he's so concerned. A quick check of one website revealed when you purchase Ancestry Info, they offer an instant upgrade. The immediate access to new health reports. Which means, says Court, they've already run those reports on your DNA. Because how would you get immediate access? And right now, life insurance companies in California can't ask you to do a genetic test. But if you apply for life insurance, they do have a right to get all your medical records. And if you've had a genetic test, uh, taken, they do have the right to request it. Current law protects against genetic discrimination, but court warns if the laws ever change and you have a disease causing gene, it could mean you don't get insurance. At 28, Lenise already has health insurance and doesn't need life insurance. More important to her, learning about her roots. I think it was a good experience. Court says if you're concerned about sensitive info landing in the wrong hands before signing up, ask the company which tests they run. I'd make it very narrow. And should you change your mind down the line? You should only submit to a DNA test if they agree to destroy the sample. Now, most companies let you decide whether or not to share your DNA test results with medical researchers. Consumer watchdogs say roughly 80% of people who take the tests choose to share their data.